What's going on everybody? James Largo, The Sickle Shack, thesicklechack.com. Sickle Shack on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. Please follow us on those social media outlets. We post pictures of fish and some other stuff on there. Uh, locking up the shop. Uh, been a long day. Been cleaning, scrubbing, sponges and algae and uh, vacuuming and doing all sorts of maintenance today uh, look at the front show tank uh, I have sold a, a bunch of fish out of here and uh, I added a few more uh, you know I get bored I like to switch things around um, but let's get on to what we're here for uh, we got a few more fish in plus we wanted to update you guys on our current inventory as well so here we go. Ingara flame tails, males and females. German reds. Good sized German reds. As well as holding females. Uh, red top Lawandas. Two inch unsexed all the way up to probably, um, yeah, big guys. Bi colors, males and females. Good size bi colors, very nice bi colors as well. Dragon bloods. At the weenies, males, females, multiple sizes on both males and females. Uh, Flavescence, nice black dorsal flavescence. Uh, have females for these as well. Sunshines, males, females. Got tons of females if anybody would like to breed. Sunshines. Chalumbas. Males, females as well. Green face salute size. Both males and females. Good size males. Good sized females. Kobus. Males, females on both. Midnight Husseries. Good sized ones. <clears throat> both males and females, including a holding female. Otter points everywhere from two inch to five inch in-house bread OB peacocks have males and females these are not from skittles but uh, do have some nice orange and blue ones good sized females as well this guy is looking pretty good oh nice big blue neons males and females cornelii blue golds again males and females very nice cornelii's hands beshi red shoulders males and females Albino sunshines <clears throat> have males and tons and tons of females. And Benjai Regal Blues have a couple of nice males left and some females. Lemon Jake so plenty from two inch to four inch plus. 
males and females. Oh, well, I had a dolphin jump from the tank behind it. Better to land in here than on the floor, I guess. Uh, Maylandis. We'll have to get that dolphin and move it to the tank behind it. He jumped from that one over there. Nice big four inch plus Maylandi sulfur head mouse. Uh, and I have some two inch in house bred unsexed, as well as uh, three inch plus females. Red Suns. Blue Orchids. Very nice blue orchid mouse. Still have that blue dragon blood if he's in here somewhere and a Chidunga rocks. There's the blue dragon blood. Have a red collar peacock left and two females. Eureka reds, including holding females. Have these in varying sizes as well. Albino strawberries. I think there's three nice males left in here. Super red. I actually uh, just finished vacuuming these out. Uh, the L144s are breeding now. Those are the blue eyed, al blue -eyed albinos. And we got lots and lots of super reds growing. Okay, these are fresh in. More of the big F1 Dimitochromus Kawingis. Both males and big females. More beautiful living stone eye males. There's the dominant one in the tank right now. Five inch. F1 Spilonotus Tanzanias. Four inch. There's a couple that are four and a half to five inch, and we have females as well. Big, beautiful Malawi eye biters. Both males and females back in stock. Big beautiful Taiwan reefs. Very nice red anal fins and blazes. Oh, Venustis. Have these in various different sizes as well. Mylochromus amphromimus. Males, and I think there's a couple of females. Here is where that dolphin jumped from. We have males uh, from three and a half to five inch, and we also have females if anybody would like to breed blue dolphins. Uh, these are the wild caught uh, Rostratus females and I put one male in there um, thinking about maybe adding these to the triple S breeding program but we'll see uh, I have more females than uh, I'll need for a group so if anybody would like to breed them they are on the website and these are five inch plus females these are good size wild caught females Wild caught polystigmas. From what I can tell, there is two males and two, four, six females. Probably uh, end up putting those into groups of a male and three females. 
on both, but we'll see. Uh, a few of the nice uh, three inch Tetra Stigmas remaining. Here is a nice um, big Buco, F1 Buconoto that I have separated. My Malawi Gar breeding group. Oh, very skittish tangerine tigers. Very nice, big, beautiful red empress and big four, four and a half to five inch females as well. Uh, water change system filling up for me vacuuming. These are Bazulus, males, females. Got some more of the big, beautiful tangerine tigers and more females as well. We have lots of females on these. If anybody would like to breed these beautiful tigers. I've narrowed it down to three of these that I want to kind of, that I'm growing to use as a nice super red or a red empress OB breeder male. Uh, I'm going to breed them back to my super red empress females trying to get more red. Um, I think it's a battle between this guy and this guy in the back right now. I like this guy because of his fins. Um, kind of like this guy because he's a little bit more redder. Eh. Hard to tell. The giant haps, both males and females. Males are starting to get really nice color. Marginatus Redfin Lethernops. Beautiful 5 inch Xerox Lithobates. Also have some good 4 inch females. More Malawi Hawks. F1 Aristochromus Christi eyes. Uh, these big ones are 6 inch plus. Um, very, very nice. Also have females for these. More F1 Buchochromus Notitanias. These are good size. And I got a couple of females with those as well. F1 Spectabilis. Have both males and females of these as well. German Reds. These are bred in-house from my German Red breeding group out of the tubs. We did get some more deep water haps. Five inch plus. Very, very nice. Albino Taiwan Reefs. Nice big five inch males, got some four inch females, and the ones that have been growing in here. The wild caught uh, Melantros pair, Mylochromus, proven breeding pair now. I have a nice Ovatus in here, and these. Um, Bleaker eye are, are definitely getting bigger. Uh, most of them well over three inches now. I have a few of the Fireline Melotos over three inches as well. Very nice. Really nice blazes. The albino Oscars, the Asian bristlenose plecos, thread finicaras, and I have a couple of the red dragon flower horn. Don't know where the other one's at right now. This is our in-house sale tank. Uh, you know, Venustus otter points. Uh, 
Blue Sunsets. I believe there's one of my flames in here. Uh, tank raised Rostratus. A nice five inch male colored up there. In house bred Turkis. The $20 uh, male tank, which is now on sale locally for $14.99. If anybody's interested uh, in me adding these to the website, um, if you'd like to. If you think I should, I haven't. I've been using it mainly as uh, for local customers. These are all bred by um, myself or the Triple S squad. Oh, let's see. Fire fin compressiceps. They're all hiding underneath the sponge. These guys are two and a half, three inches. Pretty good size. My wild caught Mylochromus lattice strike along those breeding group. Uh, wild caught Imperial Tigris blue golds. The big males, the smaller ones are F1 blue gold Imperial. Here are um, some of those wild caught Rostratus. There's two six inch males in here and four six inch females. In fact, that female is, is even bigger than the males. There's a nice coloring up male there. Oh, bunches of Taiwan Reef females. F1 Fusco's. There is some different goodies in this tank. Uh, Rainbows, F1 Synodonis Multis, Gold Compressiceps, and the locally bred Discus as well. They're hiding behind this sponge filter. There's some, some more of the Synodonis. You can see they love the bottom of the sponge filter. And there's even some of the <laughs> Go comps under there. Apparently they like it too. Uh, Brichardi. Have a trio of nice Brichardis. And Gelidia Chromis malariae that really like to kind of hide in these grout joints over here. Some nice Imbuna. Two inch. Demasoni as well as OB Filiborni's. More Tanganyikans, two inch Lulupi's, really nice color. Gelidia Chromis Regani's, you can see those uh, are on the sponges. There's one on the top of the sponge there, another one sideways. Very nice little loop eyes. Down here are albino Trewavasi, I believe that's pronounced, and blue OB Filiborn eyes. Have a couple of the Hippo Point salmons remaining. Uh, in house bread. Fryer eye and some star sapphire females out of the grow out tubs. My line of fryer eye is uh, split gene. I know people hate that term, but uh, it's the easiest way to explain it. They produce both uh, fryer eye and white knights. Um, this is an OB that I'm kind of pulled out of the tubs. I'm thinking about maybe um, setting up a second breeding group, uh, a little bit different. Then Skittles. Haven't decided yet. Giant Demasoni, the Manda Blue Dolphins, and Gold Labs, Yellow Labs, whatever your whatever your pleasure is that you like to call these.
Oh, I showed all these tubs and stuff last week, so I don't think that we'll go into these this week. Um, the unsexed Anustas are down here. Um, I have them listed at two inch, but they're bigger than that now. Same with these guys from Mr. Adam C. Malawi Hawk females, bunches of nice, uh, good, healthy females. And then these from Mr. Adam C are listed on the website as well, two inch unsexed. And then the F1 Talia Lethana Brutalis. These are growing very, very well in here. Um, there's some that are probably close to four inch and then there's some that are still you know two and a half inches but there are uh, some that I have grown quite a bit my star sapphires alrighty folks that's it for this walkthrough if you stayed to the end uh, You'll notice that I reposted my video last week as well. And uh, this week, you'll notice it doesn't have the intro or the exit video anymore. Uh, I got flagged, or wh however you want to call it, for my intro music, that Shinedown song that I've had on there for years. Uh, somebody, the record company copyrighted it on me uh, all of a sudden, so I can't use it no more. So until I... Uh, come up with a new intro and exit there just won't be one alrighty folks that's it for this inventory walkthrough uh, again the website www.thecichlidshack.com contact us at jlargo20 or thecichlidshack at gmail.com with any questions as always be good to each other and just remember these are just stupid fish videos folks God bless